Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Hey, what up you guys? It is Sassy Assassin here back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to an Amberlynn Reed video titled Thoughts on Beck, My Ex. Week 2 weigh-in and sending nudes slash vlog. So before I get into today's video, I, I want to clarify a few things. Firstly... As you guys know, I dropped a huge receipt in my last Amberlynn video, basically explaining how it's possible for Amberlynn to have faked her results um, in that app that she used to document her alleged mile. I just want to clarify that the video that I showed you the one that I grabbed from YouTube, basically showing you how to fake results, was taken during, like, a time when the, on an older version of the app. Amber Lynn's video and the screenshots that I showed you, where I, I took one, a screenshot from Amber Lynn's most recent video, that is, like, the updated version of the app. So, after the video, like, I, I just felt, you know, a little weird about this whole thing. And I, when I realized, like, oh, the screenshots look a little different, I better, like, do a little bit more research on the, the, the apps. So I downloaded both apps, okay, and I tested them out and everything. And they look exactly like Amber's. They don't look like anything like the older version, S but so I did a little bit more research just to make sure that it's still possible to fake the results in the updated versions of the app, and it is. So I just wanted to clarify that in, in case somebody is like, "Wait a minute, they, the apps look totally different." It's just the video was made the one that that explaining how it's possible was made a couple of years ago, and um. It, and so th that's like the older version of that app. So I just wanted to clarify that. I know people are just like, it really doesn't matter. You know, we we already know that Amberlynn faked the mile. I, you know, I'm all for transparency. So that's why I'm making the effort to like do my research and to make sure that I have my facts straight. Because I don't want this to come and bite me in the ass. So that being said, I, I've come to the conclusion, and this is just an opinion, this is not fact, so don't take me as go what I'm saying as gospel, okay? Most of what I do on, on here is like speculation. I don't believe that Amber Lynn walked the mile. The, re the reason is, is because there, you have the video itself. Okay, where they're it just the way she edited it was weird, and then you have the 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 receipt that I showed you, but then there's something else that was pointed out to me in my comment section under my last video. The last video in, in the beginning, Amber Lynn came back on the same day, saying, "Oh, you guys, like, thank you for." congratulating me, blah, 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 like, you, you know, she was just reveling in all the praise that she was getting, right? 
this is the same day and so how this is before she even posted the mile video and yet she's already thanking people so that means that this whole thing is fake because how can you be literally th already like thanking people for their congratulations when you haven't even posted the video while making that video the follow up basically the follow up video it just doesn't make sense to me and I want to thank the person for pointing that out because I totally did not connect the dots there. So, yeah, this whole Amber Lynn walked of the mile is completely fake. This whole weight loss journey so far and the exercising is completely, it's bullshit. Everything is bullshit. And honestly, I'm not surprised. This is Amber Lynn Reed we're talking about. Everything she does is bullshit. You know, I wanted to believe that she did this. And I wanted to believe that, you know, she was turning things around and taking her health seriously. But, you know, it is what it is, right? At the end of the day, Amberlynn is going to make the choices that she's going to make. And the only person that is going to be affected by those choices is Amberlynn. It's no skin off our, our noses, right? We're just here for the show. So that being said, let's uh, get on with it, shall we? Hey guys, it is January 13th. And if you remember from my last vlog, I was not on track last night. I was on track the whole day. And then I just, I don't know, I became weak, so. I have a feeling I am going to be gaining weight today, which is unfortunate, but let's step on the scale and find out. Hello, it's ready. Okay, stepping on. 510.0 pounds. 510.0, oh my God, I did not gain as much as I thought I was going to, so that is a big relief. The guilt I feel from being off track though, definitely motivates me to stay on track today. Uh, not funny. It seems that whenever she's off track, she doesn't gain so much weight back. But there's been a couple times within this two-week period where she's been on track and she still gains weight. Which shows me that she's not being completely transparent. And that any weight loss that she is experiencing is just weight fluctuation at this point. But of course, she's going to flex this because any victory... Is worth the flex, right? Especially if you're not really trying. Especially if, if you're lying about your weights and the how much exercise you're getting and eating right and stuff like that. It doesn't matter, right? As long as you're making the coin, right? And getting all the attention from it. And all the congratulations and the ass pats, right? Pathetic. Pathetic. You know... Maybe if you actually tried, Amber, all those, and when it, it would start reflecting in your videos, and then all those ass pats and those congratulations would actually mean something. But no, you have to lie and manipulate and gaslight because you are so lazy that you don't really want to make the effort. The reason why that you're even doing this is, one, to deflect from uh, the Casey um, interview and Becky coming out and speaking out against you. And um, it's the beginning of the year and, you know, everybody's doing the whole weight loss thing. So you got to jump on the bandwagon, right? Yeah. It's just sad, you know. It really is. Foodie Bee is doing the same thing. She's deflecting from Poopgate. And she literally has nothing else to film. And so she's, she's going to, you know, take a leaf out of Amber's book and start this whole weight loss kick and showing herself exercising and going places. All the while, Salad's filming silently, you know, not even saying a word because he knows he can't because he's done and really effed up. Like, 
this is all just performative. And this whole weight loss thing is going to wear off for, for both of them. And they're going to go right back to what they were doing before. All right. Whoops. Oh, no. That bothers me, but we're going to ignore it. 510.0. And yesterday was the off track day. Y'all, it is freezing. It's like literally 10 degrees outside. I just came back in with walking. Well, I've got you beat, girl, because it's literally like negative three. It is so cold. Like, I had to let Winnie out. And I had my hair wet, okay? And I was just standing near the door because, like, I have to keep on telling him to get off the deck and go to the bathroom because he doesn't want to go, okay? And just standing there with the door closed, my hair started to, like, freeze. Like, oh my gosh. I know it's crazy. Like, why are you standing in front of the door with wet hair? Well, because my dog really had to go out. And, um, <laughs> I don't want him to hold it in because that could make him sick. And it's like, he's just being stubborn because it's so cold. And I would get him booties and, you know, something like a coat or something. But, um, yeah, we, we tried that and didn't work. Let's just say that. I'm Twinkie, and I swear my fingers are numb. Now I'm about to go out. We're, me and my mom are going to hang out. We might surprise my grandma and show up there. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. There was an earthquake last night. Like, what is happening? I'm not cut out for this type of weather. Like, I want the spring and the fall. 24 seven, like that's what I need in my life. And that's what should be here every single day. Not icicles and snow, like I'm just not in it to win it. Okay, so we're about to go in. You know what, Amber, this whole weather thing, like you come, you were saying, oh, there was an earthquake, there's tornadoes. Like how could there be a tornado, excuse me, when the weather it was too cold for torna tornadoes, when this tornado allegedly happened, but the earthquake happened. And it was cold because, you know what, I went and checked the weather for that day and, you know, what the temperature was in her area. It was cold and there was an earthquake. <laughs> and Amber, if you don't like the weather, then freaking move. But, oh, wait, you can't because you have to be near family to take care of you. You can't, you literally can't live anywhere else to this place called big box it's just like a bunch of amazon stuff that was never delivered it's a bin store let's go look oh my god i've always wanted to c come to one of these places i have a friend that literally lives near one okay and she goes all the time and she went around christmas time and they had like this huge sale and stuff like that it, i think it was like black friday and she was in this like going through this big box and she found this PS5 that, and paid literally less than $100 for it. I was like, how did you get away with doing that? She goes, I don't know, but it happened. And she thought, oh God, this thing's going to be defective and everything like that. And it's like, perfect. I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> like, you could just give that to me, you know? <laughs> I really, <sighs> oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I'm like, can you just, uh, I was like, I'll pay you for it. And she's like, no. Nah. She's like, what are you talking about? Um, But yeah, like, the, she's found like amazing things at these, this, these places. Like she even found a, like a Hermes scarf once. I'm, and paid pittance for it. I'm just like, girl, like, it's not fair. <laughs> When I say pit, and she's like paid maybe like two hundred dollars, maybe no, like maybe like a hundred and some dollars, whatever, which is cheap considering how much Hermes sca scarves run for. But we all know Amberlynn ain't go go ain't gonna be going there and going to get like a PS like f five or like a Hermes scarf. She's gonna be in the cheapy section. Because uh, from what I gather, there's like a cheapy section and then they have there's like a more expensive section. But I remember this girl on YouTube bought like a whole big box from one of these places, okay? And it cost her like a cup, maybe like a, 
a thousand dollars and it was full of like literal like uh, real like designer like stuff like bags and shoes like i'm talking gucci prada hermes like um yeezys like you name it that she had it like and it was like literally worth like oh god five to six thousand dollars i'm like you gotta be shitting me like uh, I, I got to look and see if there are any of this, these type of places in my city because holy crap that my mom and I would be there like every month and see look you could get a PS5 like controller well actually it's a PS4 What's this, Amber? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? <laughs> Looks like an Elsa wig. I'm not getting that ever. <laughs> no? No, it's too much. You need to drink your water, though. Just... <laughs> okay, so I didn't get anything, but my mom got this uh, 365 Days of Words to Inspire. <laughs> but it is a 2022 calendar, which is totally fine. What's today's? Why would you get a 2022 calendar? That is literally a waste of money. Oh my god. It says your future is bright. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Okay, but look, still, I love all these positive. You look like a million bucks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> they are cut from the same cloth, buying useless shit that they don't need. Look, be silly, be honest, be kind. I love that. Me too. And like every single one is like art. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm obsessed. It's adorbs. That's actually super cute. Do your best. Look, how could you? Keep your enthusiasm. Yeah, that's Keep cute. it up, Amber. This was 75 cents. Please forecast 100%. <laughs> Fantastic. Hell yeah. So I saw this icon cinema and I was like, what is that? Is that where all Amberlynn Reed's videos are performed? Get it? Haha. -ha. Oh my god. Did you just literally call yourself an icon? Girl. Okay, you need to be brought down to earth a little bit. Because you are no icon. You are a moderately successful death fat youtuber who is universally hated on this platform it is what it is don't get any of this twisted amber you you just you're just no icon okay nothing about you screams queen nothing about you screams girly pop and nothing about you screams icon you you're getting infamous and icon mixed up okay you're infamous. You're not an icon. And you're infamous for very negative reasons. Hey guys, it is the next day, January 14th. I'm sorry that I stopped vlogging yesterday. My mom and I ended up going to my grandma's house, surprising her, visiting her. And then my grandma took me and my mom out to her favorite restaurant. So I was just spending quality time with them. But it is the next day. Let's do the weigh-in. Hello. Hello. It's ready. Thank you. Stepping on now. 509.6 pounds. 509.6. I was hoping for a bigger loss because I feel like I barely ate anything yesterday. But you know what? I'll take it. 509.6. So basically you're maintaining. You're maintaining your weight. So you must be eating a shit ton of calories. My god, girl. I was on track. And you notice how she's not showing what she's eating. Which makes me believe that even more than I already do that she's lying. Because if she was being completely transparent, she'd be showing what she's been eating. But no, we're just getting weigh-ins and then her jotting down numbers. People, she could even be recording, you know, using pre-recorded, like, like, weigh-in. You know, you know how, like, voice of the, of the, the scale to, you know what I mean? They have that shit on YouTube. Yeah, seriously. You, <laughs> it's crazy what people will, will f put on YouTube.
And, it, and, it, and I, I believe Amber will go to such lengths. You know what I mean? She, Her and Foodie are cut from the same cloth as well. They will go to such lengths to make the lie believable. They will do what they have to do. That is such a lousy heart. Because I was looking through the camera. I need to not do that. So tomorrow is week two weigh in to see how much I officially lost. So this can go, can go like any way. I could do good today and lose more weight or tonight, which is usually nighttime where I slip up and do bad. I could do really bad and gain a few pounds overnight and then not lose anything. That would suck big time, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that that won't happen. Y'all, I don't know about you, but I normally do not eat things like this. I normally always get like oh, turkey. Oh God, her and the nails. Like you notice how she's articulating more with her nails. Girl, no one cares about your freaking nails, okay? Yeah, they look good, they look decent, but like, no one cares. Burgers, Just stop. But well, for some reason, Vidalia, probably pronouncing that wrong, onion beef patties just sounded so good. And I had one last night, absolutely amazing. And I put some shredded cheese on top and it melted and it was delicious. So I'm actually about to make one right now. Y'all, I have been Lego obsessed. I finished- Oh my God. Do you, you mind so if I cute? skip through this, oh you guys? Goodness, By the way, this is a no from me. Oh, it was so gross. Like, I took one bite and I hated it. Like, there's this weird layer on the outside that is just not good. I got this from 7-Eleven. It's just like a beef stick. I usually like a beef stick. Yeah, you know, I like the... Although, God, there's this particular one from Jack Link's. I think it's Jack Link's that I like. I think it's like a... Honey barbecue one or something. I'm not... No, I think it's... No, you know what? I don't like Jack Link's. It's Sweet Baby Ray's that I like. And they, it's like the the... It's like the, what is it? The honey barbecue, um, t you know, the, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call it dried meat because I can't remember what the name for it is for. Uh, but, uh, th there's also this brand that, that makes like dried meat, which it's like, you can buy at any grocery store. It's, uh, maple sand like maple salmon but it's so expensive now like i used to buy that sometimes you know especially after the gym i'd you know buy one of them and you know because they're good snacks right and it was lower sodium and I, I i like the salmon better than anything else but like it just got so expensive then one time they had this other one on sale which was like this really like cruelty free like organic brand that was like a a beef and uh black cherry one now it's like almost ten dollars for a small bag of that one but it was on sale for like three dollars it was so good um but like seriously this like this kind of stuff is expensive now like it's not my my favorite kind of like snack but like it'll do in a pinch Depending on what the brand is and what it is, like, this stuff has a lot of sodium, though. And, and girl, you have no business eating stuff like this. And I get it if, if it's, like, something like, like a small thing like this and you just want a snack, but still, you could have made a better choice. The only arguably th good thing it has is plenty of protein. Stick. I know that's shocking. I, I know, because I'm not a meat girly, but some of them are good this new. So don't get that, folks. But... The Lego has been great. I have no more Legos left. I do have two knockoff Legos, so I just ordered a couple more Lego brand Legos off of Amazon. The um, fact that she's already done pretty much all of her Legos means that she literally has all the free time in the world. Like, it's like, girl, get a job. Like, seriously, other than YouTube. You're just sitting around doing Legos all day. That cannot be, like, fulfilling. I get it, it's a hobby, you like it, but oh, after a while, it's like, you know what I mean? It gets stale. It's like, literally get a job. Volunteer, do something, my God. You bought how many Legos recently and you've already completed all of them? And in such a short space of time? They're not like any like huge ones or anything, but they're just like a couple that I've been wanting to do. Hello, it is January 15th. It is Monday, and Mondays are the official. Oh, God. Out. I just want to get to the Becky part, okay? Hello. Hello. It's ready. Okay, guys, so I'm stepping on. 507.4 pounds. 
Yes, I was on track yesterday. I did really freaking good. Oh my god, I'm so happy with this. Did you exercise? Did you anything? Oh yeah, seven is my favorite number besides one. I do like one. You know what? Okay. And I don't know if they have this in her city, but there are places you can go for free where they're indoor like walking. Like you can do, it's like a track or whatever, indoor tracks, whatever. But also it's like pe for people who want to, you know, take walks, you know, in, in the colder weather. She could do that. She could have, could take an Uber or have her mom take her. They could go walk together. And that would be a good like form of exercise. And she wouldn't have to worry about the cold, right? Just saying. So I was 507.4. That is so amazing. I was on track yesterday. So this week, I am down 5.2. I am so, so proud of that. And in total, this year so far, which has only been 15 days, I'm down 8.4 pounds which I'm very happy with that because my goal is to lose 100 pounds this year. And to reach that goal, I just need to lose 1.9 pounds a week. That is it. So I'm already like way ahead of schedule. I am so proud of this weigh-in. Yay. Okay, guys. So I went on to Instagram. I told you guys to ask me questions. I figured it could be fun to do some rapid fire questions. So let's get into it. Favorite thing about living in Oklahoma so far? Definitely living on my own. I love living on my own. My rules. I can do whatever I want. Everything is mine. It's like my own little like haven sanctuary I like doing things on my time and i don't know just something about it is just so freeing and i never expected to love it this much but i really do when did you start listening to the weekend so it was 2011 it was when i heard same old song i became obsessed with him there's like a few artists that i'm just like majorly obsessed with like banks Miley cyrus billy eilish the weekend and there's a few others okay for one i used to like the weekends but like then he, that he did that show with Lily Rose Depp, and I was like, oh, like, what the hell? Totally, totally turned me off, but then I, there's still some songs that I've heard that I like. And you know what creeps me out about Amber is all the, like, in the older videos, she t and somebody told me this, she talked about how she had crushes on, like, Hannah Montana and Billie Eilish when they were still teenagers, Okay. That's fucking creepy. Even though they're, it's like you have your celebrity crush, and it's like, you know, it's a celebrity crush, right? You know, you're never gonna get with this person, but you still find them attractive. You like, you like their work. You like, you you know, whatever. But like, when you're an adult crushing on like Hannah Montana, who is a child, and then Billie Eilish at the time when she's a child, and you're an adult, that is creepy. Now, I can understand if you let's just say if you're like a uh, a ch you know, a child and you're kind of like naive and then let's say you have a crush on your favorite pop star who also may be of, of the same age. That's a little bit different, you know? But uh of grown ass adult crushing on a freaking child, that's weird, even for a celebrity crush. See, in my case, like I'm I'm more I leaned towards like men who like who are older than me like and you know non celebrity crush celebrity crush you know um like Benedict Cumberbatch uh who is like older than me Lee Pace um those are the like the first two I can think of I think that arguably the only younger like actor that I have like a celebrity crush on is Jacob Elordi but he's still an adult. That's the thing. He's like in his, he, like a mid, I think it's like mid 20s, whatever. But like, he's still an adult, you know? I don't, I, I feel kind of weird because he's younger, but then at the same time, it's like, at least he's still an adult, right? But like, Amber Lynn, like, literally at the time when Miley was still a child, as a, and her as an adult, crushing on Miley Cyrus, crushing on Billie Eilish. I get you like the music, okay, but like, you're crushing on these people and they're literally children. I don't care if they're close to being adults. They're still children until they reach 18. It is what it is. And, you know, then 
one goes into the argument that recently, and I don't have any proof of this, so don't take my word as gospel, but it's been on in the rumor mill. Amberlynn been flirting with p- girls on TikTok. Like, underage girls. And I know what she's going to say. Well, if they're close to being adults, like, does it really matter? Yes, it does. I don't care if they're 17 and they're close to being 18. It, and once they reach 18, I, I, I still even think it's a, a little weird, right? But when they're children, they're children. I don't care how mature they seem to be. They're children. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I had to go. I, I, I didn't mean to go on that tangent, but it's just like, ugh. And my most recent ex actually surprised me with like a poster. It was so sweet of her because she had a record player and she wanted to put some posters near it. And she put one of my favorite artists up there. She didn't really care for the weekend like I did, but she did it for me. So she surprised me. I thought that was sweet. But the weekend, me and the weekend, we've, we're besties, okay? When's the last time you drank alcohol? I actually have not drank since December 31st because I did drink on New Year's Eve and I haven't drank since then. When will you be ready for a relationship? Honestly, I don't know because. I kind of like the single life. Of course, there is things that I miss about being in a relationship, but I honestly think it's just like, I'm missing those things with my ex. We don't have to get into like detail, but there are just like a lot of things that I miss with her specifically. What are your thoughts on sending nudes? So honestly, that is something that um, I low key do, but I only do it if I'm really connected with someone, we're really into each other, I trust them, and they have to like ask for it because I'm, I, sorry but unsolicited no but if you two are vibing and they're like hey you want to send over like a a titty pic <laughs> you have to be really special because i don't just be sending those out to anybody like you have to- you're not even specifying age by the way you're not even specifying age if you're vibing with this person oh yeah it's okay you better be saying as you know per uh you know unsolicited and you know, not a child girl. Like seriously. It just bugs me. It really bugs me. I I, I just I'm I'm weirded out, you know. I'm weirded out by this. The fact that one, anybody would want to see her nude. And two, that she's actually done this with people. I, I, like you know i don't have proof but you know when you have you feel that feeling in your gut when you know something is off that's what i'm feeling right now it's like i feel uncomfortable <laughs> gotta breathe lisa gotta breathe to be a special girly pop okay but i don't see anything wrong you are not a girly pop okay S- amberlyn stop trying to make girly pop happen it's not gonna happen Okay. I feel like Regina George. <laughs> like, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> That's the, the same. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I feel like I'm turning into Regina George. I'm with it. Like, if two people are into each other, go for it. Did it snow? You're not even stressed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. You're not even specifying age. You're just like, do not, okay, okay. PSA, pop, PSA to anyone, P- please do not take the advice from this woman, okay? This woman does not care about age, okay? She thinks, well, if we vibe, whatever, it doesn't matter, like, you know, go for it, right? matter of that if that person may be like an underage person go for it right <laughs> you need to clarify amber because the fact is is that you've been accused of going for the younger girls like you need to clarify and make sh- and make sure you have that that down pat because th- this could come and bite you in the ass later there is footage of you flirting with a 15 year old in your older videos, there is footage of you, Becky, Destiny, you're all sitting there. There's a child in the room, and you're talking about SEX. Okay, you can't refute this. You can't refute this. Oh my god. 
some of these questions, I think that she's just making them up because there's no way any competent person would be asking Amber for relationship advice. You've got to be shitting me. In Oklahoma, yes, it did. So the last question I'm going to do is, how do you feel about Becky talking about you? Oklahoma, yes. That's it. Like, if two people are into each other, go for it. Did it snow in Oklahoma? Yes, it did. So the last question I'm going to do is, how do you feel about Becky talking about you again? So honestly, I find it a little weird, only because she was the one who initially said, keep my name out your mouth or the law is going to get involved. And then I think it was a few months later, I brought up the law just to remind her that that was initially what she wanted. It was my way of agreeing, but like now she's talking about me. I don't know. Share your story, share your truth, share what you think is your truth. I, I don't know what else to say about it at this point because I'm just not really into this whole, let's talk shit about our ex for money. I, I personally am not gonna be doing it. I did go against my morals at the time when Destiny started saying all those things about me and I went on live stream and then started doing the same. I was in a very bad headspace at the time, but I'm not gonna let that be an excuse because even if I was in a bad one now, I still wouldn't let myself succumb to that type of energy because I'm not gonna do it. She can do whatever she wants and I'm not gonna say a damn thing because I just wish her nothing but healing, happiness, health, success, all the good things in the world. But it is a little confusing because she was the one who initially brought up the law. Okay, you guys have an- mm -hmm. Okay, I'm about to go off. I'm, I'm feeling punchy. What a bitch move. You totally ignore the whole FBI Frank thing, by the way. You're, you're not, you don't even have the balls to address the fact that you completely lied about FBI Frank. FBI Frank doesn't even exist. Okay. So... Even though Becky may have initiated the whole law, you know, I'll go to the law, okay? I'm not sure who in initiated what. Like, it could have been Amber that initiated that, and I don't know. The fact remains that you couldn't stop talking about Becky. And then every time you talked about Becky... People would flood her social media, YouTube, you know, whatever, and be like, oh my God, did you hear what Amber said? And it got to the point where she was getting, Becky was getting sick and tired of people coming online and bugging the crap out of her, uh, 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 out of her about, you know, what Amber is saying, begging her to like spill the tea. All the while she's trying to get herself situated, she's trying to heal. Okay. So she's, she, in desperation, she c could have come to you and be like, you know what, Amber, if you don't stop talking about me, I'm going to get, you know, take legal action. I, you know, I'm going to get a cease and desist because it, enough is enough. I'm trying to get my life together and, you know, I, I can't deal with people coming to me and as talking about you, asking whether I'm going to talk about you, like enough is enough, Right. But if Amber's the one that initiated that, you know, of course, because Amber's afraid that Becky would would speak out against her. Either way, it, it's not going to go very far, right? All Becky could really do is, is a cease and desist, right? But the fact remains that Amber, that, that this, this whole little segment that we just witness was a threat was a veiled threat the fact that she comes on here all smug and like you know you you tell whatever you think your truth is that's a threat that's a reminder to becky like okay you know you you come on here and start you know telling what you think is your truth yeah you know shit's gonna go down She knows that she knows how to push Becky's buttons. She knows that Becky is super anxious about all this and that her making veiled threats is going to scare Becky away. Becky, I hope this doesn't scare you away. Becky, you deserve to have your truth heard. And your version of the truth is going to be the actual truth, okay? You may not feel the need to spill everything, but whatever you say is going to be the 100% truth. Whether you say it on your channel or also on Mr. Snowflake's channel, 
you deserve to have your voice heard. You spent over four years literally taking care of that woman. Literally wiped her ass. The fact that she has, Amberlynn has the fucking audacity to come on here and be like, you know, oh yeah, I wish her well, but you, you know, you can, you, you can, um, you know, I'm not here for the bitch drama, but you know, you come on here, Becky, and, and, and tell whatever your version of the truth is. Yeah, that's a threat. If I ever heard one. My God. After all this time, you still threatening Becky. Amber. You need to take a couple seats and, and put on your listening ears because I think you've missed the memo here. You can't do shit. Okay? Becky has every right, just as everybody, anybody else in your life has every right to come online and share their truth. Okay? You have, see, you're in no position to, like, start making threats. Okay? Veiled threats, whatever. Because you make your entire life, basically, have made your entire, like, channel off the backs of not, uh, also of your partners and your friends. Who you talked about, exposed. I mean, hell, you used to film Becky, like, like, Destiny taking a shower. You would, I mean... There are so many instances where you're literally invading these people's privacy. It's like, that's enough to, like, go to the judge and be like, you know what? This is what Amberlynn put me through. And there's videographic evidence of this. So, you do you think you ha literally have a leg to stand on, Amber? No, you don't. You literally don't. Maybe... None of the evidence will hold weight in court, but the f or maybe it will. I don't know. I'm not a, a legal pers a person. I don't know the law here. But I, I, in my mind, I think it would be enough to say if, if Becky were to really kind of like go after Amberlynn, okay? If Casey were to go after Amberlynn, Crystal, Destiny, if all of them were to make a case against Amberlynn, they have enough evidence to make a case, in my humble opinion. And you know what? And also, this whole thing, it, it, this whole weight loss thing, it's all distraction. Because also, Casey threatened, like, if Amber Winland were to start shit again, like, she's going to take legal action. The fact that it literally got to that point where two partners now have said... You know, it, it, Amber, if you start your shit again online, I'm going to take legal action against you. So, in reality, though, all Amber Lynn can really do is make these veiled threats and be like, well, you know, I'm not here for bitch trauma and I'm, I, I'm not going to get involved. And all I can say is I wish them well. That's all you can do, right? But I know deep down, Amber, you want to go after them. You want to rage. Just like how Sha you're just like Chantel. But you can't. Because that would mean all your lies will start to unravel. Right? That would mean people will be pushing for you to more for you to basically explain some of the, you know, especially the whole FBI Frank thing, which I legit do not understand. I you know, I, I'm scratching my head thinking, what is this? Like why why make up this ridiculous lie? And now it's been, it's been literally exposed and you have nothing to say about that? Nothing at all? Come on. Why can't you just address it? And another thing that you've never addressed is why you bullied a YouTuber named Rosie Faye. A, a YouTuber who at the time, you know, when she was bullying Rosie Faye, um, got weight loss surgery in Mexico, right? Or you know, whatever... Because it was cheaper, and Amberlynn was pissed off at the time because you know she had to go through all this rigmar rigmarole and and the U.S. when the program she was in and like you know she all the money that she would have to spend and stuff like that. It's like you do all these things, okay, thinking that you're gonna get away with it, that you're not gonna get called out, and when you do, it's like. Oh no, like, 
I'm innocent and you're going to act all innocent and then just not even address it. That's what pisses me off. She won't even address it. She won't even apologize, right? Because she feels like she doesn't have, you know, need, need to apologize. It's like, girl, yeah, you do. You need to apologize for lying about and bullying Rosie Faye. Okay, the, I'm just making examples, like the two examples in my mind. And you need to uh, apologize and explain the whole FBI Frank thing and why you made up that ridiculous story. Anyways, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go on that tangent, but my god. I knew I knew she was going to say some shit, but oh god, the veiled threat. You know? So it, it's so like Amber Lynn. You know what? This is the my my final statement on this. It's cowardly. Right? She comes on here all sweet and can try and all. I'm not going to get involved. You know, I'm you know, I'm going to take the I'm going to take the high road, you know, and wish you well. But underneath all of that, I'm threatening you and reminding you about, you know, if you if go legal on me, I'm going to go legal on you. You're a coward, Amber. You're, you've always been a coward. Okay. The only reason why you're talking a big game is because it's, it, it's because it's on camera but if somebody were to confront you in real life face to face you wouldn't have a thing to say because that's how much of a coward you are you can't back up your own shit same with Chantel, right she can talk a big game on her channel and stuff like that you know talking to the camera but as soon as somebody confronts her face to face it's a different story you notice how how Foodie Beauty was like completely different when FFG showed up to that fatty fashion show. She was acting like they were old friends. Even offered to t to t go to dinner with FFG to to get poutine afterwards. Like it's so weird, right? And she was like, "Oh, you know, it's just business. It's just business." I mean, she was all she was like completely complicit you know not complaining whatsoever but as soon as she gets back on her channel she went right after ffg it's like you you're a coward you had the opportunity to to really tell ffg how you feel to her face but instead you cozied up to her like she was your friend like seriously cowards Amazon haul. These things came overnight. These are just clean dishes that I have to put away, so don't mind that. And I really hurt my finger. This nail almost came off. You guys hurt. Oh, boo hoo, boo hoo. Who? Nobody cares about your freaking finger. Anyways, okay. So I got some slippers. I'll show you guys those out of the package in a minute. And I got some Legos. I did think this one was gonna be bigger, but that's okay. It's More nice Legos. See. How yeah. much money are you spending on this? This stuff is expensive. Some of these Legos, like, can go for like couple hundred dollars my god girl no wonder you don't have money you're just spending it on toys no you know i know i don't have a room to talk because i'm a gamer and i spend money on games but i i rarely buy games like i spend my time playing these games like because some of these games are very long like hogwarts legacy is a long game okay and you know um i, I i'm playing it on like two platforms right now but, like, yeah. I mean, it's a once in a blue moon, right? And I know video games are expensive. And plus, you know, I get them when they're on sale, all right? But it's like she's spending a couple hundred dollars at a, on a po at a pop just buying Legos. Like, girl. Maybe you should invest this, some of this money into your health and well-being. But no, you're you're gonna spend them on toys. I I literally can't. Got some roller skates and the newest one, which is the bouquet of roses, which if you guys know me, you guys know my favorite flower is red roses with baby's breath. And that's literally what this is. So here are the slippers. Let's see if they fit. They actually fit.
I wonder how much money she spent on all of that. And I bet you, I bet you, that was from Vlogtober money. She got quite, I bet she got quite a bit of money from Vlog, from Vlog, uh, from, you know, was it Vlogtober? Is that what they call it? Fit perfect? No, not Vlogtober, uh, Vlogmas, I'm sorry. Look at this, so cute. I'm obsessed. So now I'm going to add Legos to my little collection here. Not this one though, because I'm about to do this one. Yes, I am. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. The last two days has been so boring. I have been wanting to go outside and walk, but I can't because we are snowed in. I have been able to take Twinkie to the uh, dog park, but that is like literally part of my apartment complex, which I prefer to walk her so we can get like exercise and stuff. Sadly, I have not been able to do that. And I've been really, really itching to do the mile walk without Twinkie. I know the next couple of months is just gonna be freezing cold. Like I cannot imagine myself walking in 10 degree weather, 20 degree weather, like it's not gonna happen. Once it starts getting up like the 50s and 60s, that's like perfect walking weather in my opinion. And I'm just like, I need that weather because I wanna walk so bad. Like, who is she? Like, I wanna go walk a mile, like what? But yeah, like a lot of people enjoy the snow and I'm just not that girly. Like I used to love the snow, but now I just feel trapped, honestly, because- I mean, okay, you know what, Amber? There are places you can go, indoor places where you can walk. Okay? Like, seriously. If you are serious about this whole tire, like, weight loss arc, then you would find a way. Like, hell, I've been researching indoor walking places because I'm preparing to get back into the swing of things, you know? I just haven't been able to pay the gym bill, you know, to be able to go back, so it's just like, I'm gonna be doing that soon. So it's like, you know, but like, I have different avenues of, like, what I can do to get my, you know, to be more, you know, get more fitness in, when, you know? I even have an at-home set up a little bit, you know? But I want, like, for me, it's like, I, I want a variety, okay? Like, I get easily bored with just doing one thing over and over. I want a freaking variety of things. Um... But it's like, Amber, you're not even trying. You're all, you're letting the weather defeat you. You know there are people that have to go out in the cold weather and walk and stuff. They don't have a choice, even though they hate it. Even though, no matter what size they are. You know, it's funny. I, I, there's this YouTuber who, like, bought... The, you know those... Uh, oh, God, I have one. We have one in our garage. It's like a, uh, a deep freezer. And she has it outside, and she put water and ice in it, and she takes ice baths in it. Recently, I saw a video of her in, like, it's snowing, there was a blizzard, and she's out there pregnant taking ice baths. And apparently ice baths are supposed to be really good for you, like, can reset your immune system and stuff like that. And she's doing it under the instruction of a doctor, okay, and it's actually been really helping with her, with her pregnancy, believe it or not. If that woman... Yes, she's arguably, she's very fit. If that woman can go and take ice baths while she's pregnant, during, where it's really snowing, okay, I'm sure a, a death fat like you could go and take a walk in 20 degree weather. Give me a break. Give me a break. This is just an excuse for you to not do it. And I knew she would do this. I knew she'd find some excuse because... She doesn't want to really do it. She's just doing it for show, which further proves to me, without a, a shadow of a doubt, that the whole mile, you walking that mile was freaking fake. But, of course, once again, you taking credit for shit you don't, you haven't done. Because you literally have no life, and you have no personality, okay? And hell, you know, you, you, do you even really have a past? I mean, everybody has a past, but like... I mean, a past to, like, speak about, right? You know what I mean? A an interesting, you know, interesting one other than what you had to go through with your parents, right? Always having to constantly steal from social media, from other people. You don't have an original thought in your head. And it's like, ticks me off because it's like... You're sitting here taking credit. People are congratulating you. You're getting money and views from this shit. It's like you're literally you're just outright lying to your audience, and it's it's really irritating. Cause like I don't own a single pair of shoes that is like ice approved or snow approved. 
then you know what? You go online. Okay, I know this is a radical idea. Okay, but bear with me. You go online, Google, and find some shoes. You really shouldn't be wearing those freaking ballet flats in the first place. They're not really good for your feet, okay? There are st there are places online you can go to for people with lipedema and lipedema. They have boots. They have flats that you could actually wear. Clogs, sneakers, you name it. You could, There are even places where you could get a, a, a proper winter jacket that would actually fit you. S gloves, scarf, hat, like the whole nine yards. I do not understand why this woman does not have any gloves, doesn't have a hat or scarf, proper coat. Like, what are you doing? It just does not make sense to me. Like, oh my god. I, you know how I'm, I have like a whole, oh my god, you know how many gloves and like scarf, uh, scarf, like a whole scarf hat and gloves and stuff that, that I have? It's because like, that's like a, a gift in my family. Like, every year we get a new set. Like, oh my god, I have years upon years of sets of, glo you know, of gloves and scarves and stuff. And I still wear ones I've had for like 10 years. So when I do go out there, it's like, it hurts my feet. Oh my god. Get proper shoes. It, I, it, It's not as if they're not available, girl. It's just hard to find shoes that like, work. No, it's not! It literally took me less than a minute to find the proper shoes for you. Do I have to, like, literally message you and say, Hey, Amber, I found you some shoes so you can go outside and walk? They're affordable. They're people for people with your condition. My God. For me. Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog. And we'll you just don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to do the research. That, that's the reality. You, basically, I don't want to go out and I don't want to walk anymore. I'm using the cold as an excuse because I'm too lazy to actually go through it. I faked the mile and, you know, just to prove to everybody that I, I could do it, even though I really didn't do it. So, you know, that's as far as I'm going to go. Like, I'm done. Okay, it's too cold. You're pussing out like, all you, like you always do. And you know what? You do you, boo-boo, but at the end of the, at the, end of the day... The, the, the person that's really suffering in this scenario is you because the, you know, if you're, you're going to revert back to your old ways and then you're going to be right back to square one. So, you know what? No skin off our backs. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I know this is a long one, but I had a lot to say in this video. So I will see you guys next time. Toodaloo, my lovelies.